All right. All right, day nine. Yeah, go ahead and take your, well, uh, sure, you could do your daily action. The other two of you voting as officers. Okay, I will continue with my crafting. As soon as this thing freaking loads, wow. The interwebs is slow today. As uh, about an hour before sunset, well, an hour before dark, as the sun is setting, excuse me, you see off the distance to the east a cloud of smoke rising from the horizon. A white boat. A cloud of smoke. You keep cutting out. <laughs> a cloud of smoke? Yeah, a cloud of smoke. Oh. You are uh, not close enough to land for it to be a village, so it, it has to be a ship. So is it a steam engine? <laughs> that or the uh, the ocean is on fire. All right. It, it, it's definitely the kind of smoke where things are on fire, not the kind of smoke where it's like, this is a new kind of boat. <laughs> this is our new jet fuel boat. <laughs> well, what are you going to do, Captain? I'm going to ask you to take a look with your fancy spyglass. Hmm. Suppose I could. I'll look, but I'll keep the cap on there and say I don't see anything. All right, where's my skills? Oh, I can just click on this perception. All right, twenty-six perception with a spyglass. Uh, as the uh, source of the column of smoke is still over the horizon, you uh, probably have to uh, move a little closer. Uh, there's a lot of smoke over there. All right, let's investigate. Heave to. <laughs> I sigh and go back down, <laughs> down to below deck. <laughs> Pretty sure if it is a burning ship, you can probably catch it on your own. <laughs> Agreed. It doesn't mean the people aren't going to put up a fight. Well, if I hear you screaming, I'll flip a coin. <laughs> All right. So as you guys approach, in the distance you can see uh, it is definitely a ship that is on fire, but it also appears to be currently grappled with second ship. Oh, I was hoping to be the Baylor power boat. Do we notice any flags or markings on any of the ships? Wait, wait, I'll roll perception. <laughs> Damn it. You see the deck. <laughs> You're looking the opposite direction. You notice that the, uh, the ship that is currently on fire uh, has a pirate flag hanging back, 
and as the larger ships. The ship that is not on fire is uh, smaller, but much better built, and is flying a black flag with a red circle, a little red plus sign inside. Uh, would it be knowledge local or whatever? I recognize the flag on the smaller ship as the flag of, or the colors of the Chelish Navy. All right. Oh, let's go kill them. Versus burning pirate ship. Sorry, burning pirate Satan. Now, the smaller of the ships, are we a bigger ship than them, or are we about the same size as them? You are close in size. Ship that is currently on fire. Hmm. So, yeah, we're bigger. Yeah, you are. Yeah, you see how well that helped the other crew. <laughs> yeah, but they aren't awesome like us. That's right. I'm, I'm down. I don't... <laughs> Let's go. We'll sail up along the other side that's not lashed to the burning ship. Can I motivate the crew to be ready, before, inspire the crew before we begin to give them that extra, you know, whatever? Or do I have to wait until we're actually in combat? Uh, no, you can go ahead and do it now. Hold on, I actually got to pull up those rules. I'll go ahead and put up uh, Mage oh, Armor. So do I. Mage Armor. Yeah, I, I'll need, I need that link too. Um, I uh, lost my bookmark. Today. If you put that up there, and I'll put up Mage Armor since that lasts five hours for me. Since I'm going to be busy possibly steering the boat. Hey, um, Darren, since you were struggling to try to find a feat, may I suggest magic arms and armor? <laughs> what are you trying to say? Both of you are like health or armor or... <laughs> I suggest well, um, improved turning. Well, if you could craft magic arms and armor, that would help everybody on the crew. Well, since he doesn't have any, like, point craft weapons. Yeah. He, he has no crafting skill. <laughs> he doesn't have the spell for even casting the spell. Uh, that will enchant weapons. Oh, uh, I just knew he was a magic person, and I'm not, and I can't take that it. That sounds racist. <laughs> I think you just did a racism. <laughs> you just did a racism? <laughs> you just did a racism. <laughs> In this, like, in this instance, would it be classism? Classism. <laughs> Class warfare. <laughs> Fortunately, class warfare. They anything that casts spells has the advantage. <laughs> oh. Got the link. Not, not boosting morale at all. Yeah, it's not. It's like you're not skilled at it. <laughs> well, hey guys, let's let's go over here and kill this thing. That's Come on, guys, on. get pumped up. We're, we're gonna go out there, score more points than the winning and, and than the other team. Oh, all right. All right, Captain. So, how are you going to approach this ship? Um, we'll approach it head on until we get you know in range, and then we'll go broadside. Broadside? Yeah, to uh, <coughs> grapple it. All right, so you want to come up alongside that bitch grappler? Does it have cannon ports on it? <laughs> These are things that would be good to look for, I suppose. I mean, can, 
does it? <laughs> you might want to roll some perception. I'm getting there. Hold on. Wow. Checking to see what kind of siege and weaponry might be on the boat of uh, or you know ship weaponry. Uh, two cursory glance shows you that. Uh, it has what looks to be four light ballistae. <laughs> Can I discern which direction they're currently pointed? Don't even look. Don't. It's not even. Doesn't light, even matter. Yeah. Light ballista is what we have two of. They bought four, which means these guys are idiots. <laughs> That's what we can discern. <laughs> All right, I'm, I guess we're down with uh, grappling the ship then. It's like, no, no, I don't want the BFG 9000. I want four pistols. But you only have I... two hands, sir. Four of them! <laughs> I mean, the fact that it attached the boat anyway, and we're becoming... Essentially, either coming from in front or behind them, they're not going to have much chance to hit us anyway. And if we do get hit, that means some, someone can actually spend uh, some of their actual hard darn uh, skill uh, repairing the ship. Alright, so the cutter there. I didn't put the the after four deck sections on. Really, that big deal at the moment. Okay. I also, uh, even though I put the, the the fucking aft castle for the pirate ship that's on fire, I don't expect you to actually go over there because you know it's kind of on fire. Challenge but, accepted. Oh uh, yeah, I I'm always surprised by what my party do, so I figured I'd. Eve too. Alright, so gotta keep you right on now, your toes. <laughs> the the ships are facing south, so we want okay. these. To... Okay. Do I need to do any checks to get all the way over there? Unless you're doing some sort of fan. Yeah. Have we been rammed? <laughs> <laughs> That's the, no, no, that's the boat's that whirlwind that. attack going off. <laughs> Alright, so the ship they're facing south. Okay. And north would be up on our little map. Okay. So, Captain, from which direction, how do you want to approach the, the enemy ship? Uh, take a right. Well, like, are you coming up from the south? Come, come around from the north? Yeah, we're gonna... If we're... Is that our location right now? No, no, that's just no. our token. Yeah, the thing's just on the right now. Okay, yeah, I would uh, approach it, like, our bow to their bow until we get alongside them. Well, do you want to come in from the north or the south? The south. There you go. Sandara walks over and she's like, if you approach from the west ahead of east with the sun behind you, since it's not yet set, but it's low enough in the sky to provide, you know, blinding cover for you, you uh, might be able to catch them a little off guard. Uh, that is that is a good point, uh, but wouldn't they have a more, well, I guess with the sun in their eyes, it'd be more difficult to fire at us. Okay, right. yeah, that's, that's a good <laughs> idea. We'll, we'll take your advice. Thank you. You too. <laughs> Sundar laughs. laughs. You're a much nicer captain than that other guy. <laughs> you actually take advice. You're allowed to be talked to. He said thank you. <laughs> That's more than the other captain that got healed for 60 hit points. <laughs> I 
That was really weird looking seeing it flip. <laughs> Crash through both of them. I don't think we have the capabilities to rent. Yeah, I don't have my fancy figurehead yet. Crash through both of them. But but make sure you get the insurance information from both boats. Now, right, so you guys, are you guys going this alone? Are you going to take any special party members with you? Yeah, Ragnar, you got your um, battle party screen where you pick select your party members you want to take. And you and you, get, you decide who to bench. I suggest benching Ashira. I don't believe she can actually do anything in combat. <laughs> Ashira is um, permanent, <laughs> permanent starter status. <laughs> just eats up all the experience. It's just not fair. I'm adjusting my AC since I have mage armor active. We'll let that be that shield. We definitely need Ratline Rapsburger. He's, he looks key and crucial. <laughs> Are you just going to pick a bunch of characters so, so Wes has to make more character sheets? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> No, I'm just no. gonna keep generic shit until they die. <laughs> <laughs> um. All right. Yeah, we'll take uh, uh, Jack Scrimshaw, yeah, he's Sundara, been upgraded. and Slippery Seal. Yeah, we'll take the same three we took last time. Okay. And I guess the rest will be doing the boarding action combat thing. Which hopefully we don't screw up this time. <laughs> Are we still stuck at like one starter morale? So close to a second yeah. one though. You know, no pressure. You might fail the check and immediately we break. <laughs> Our entire army is just peasant and peasant archers. With no arrows. <laughs> no arrows. And our lord is dead. Alright, so you guys uh, start pulling up along the ship for the yep. last second. They notice that uh, there's a, another large ship bearing down on them. And you can see the uh, the Crew holding the shell of ship, start yelling and shouting. Good times. Uh, it looks like most of their people may still be aboard the burning ship at this point, though. So it looks like there's only about six dudes on the deck of the shell ship. So that's going to be six versus six? Plus Smith. That is the oh, coolest looking crossbow man I've ever seen. <laughs> we should just send Spiff over to make it a fair fight. Well, that would be that would make it an unfair fight if you just send Spiff. Because I mean, he'll just transform to Baylor form and just devour everything. So. Oh. It's even got chelish colors on them. He's um, in the water. <laughs> That's my placeholder. They're amphibians. Amphibious. <laughs> He's definitely sinking with all that armor on. <laughs> they all have fucking rings of rings of bunch of swimming. Yeah, they walk on water just like a hand. Jokes on you. They're not in the water. They're in the sky. <laughs> That's when you when you originally were saying you know they're flying and and then you didn't say colors for a brief pause and i was like all oh, right the flying ship <laughs> y'all told me that was a bad idea <laughs> well look it's a bad idea cuz they're right now attached to a sinking ship <laughs> so we're taking sil sil sandara and uh scrimshaw cuz uh, ragnar does not like any of the other crew members Other 
Oh wow, they, they died. Was <laughs> Remember, I can take it from another page. Right, right. That's why I usually do. Done. Yep, all stats set. Well, this doesn't have my uh, hero coin on it. There we go. Rammed. Oh, God. <laughs> Crunch. Oh god, the ship separates. Oh, it's like the Enterprise. It separates. <laughs> Who's driving this damn thing? <laughs> Who do you think? It's Spiff. <laughs> Boat moves, then the people move. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <Lag. laughs> it's a, it's like you know, World of Warcraft when you take the boat and you lag. Alright, so you guys can uh, choose your start position. <laughs> I like this spiff in front formation. No, let's, uh, <laughs> let's change this a little bit. Alright. Uh, is there any like Ooh, is there any like weird elevation differences between this ship and our ship? No, not really. Okay, just want to make sure. And these three guys, are they inside or are they on top of the? They're on top. Okay, I just, I, make... I just yeah, I didn't feel like piece of bitch together. Oh uh, no worries, I just want to make sure. <laughs> Good times. All right, you can put Jack up front only. This new shiny chainmail. Uh, what type of armor are these guys wearing? Uh, half plate. Oh wow, fancy soldiers. Well, that was a good one. Yep. That armor, he's not used to wearing clothes. All right, given that your uh, captain exercised some tactical acumen, you have uh, the first round of combat is. Uh, so we have a surprise round? Yep. All right. Then, well, Raziel, you go first. <laughs> All right, I'm going to uh, cast shield on myself and then use, my, uh, use a free action and my bonus action to enhance my weapon. Art using using arcane points or whatever. Already. Do you wish to do any movement? <laughs> no, I'm just gonna chill on the deck. <laughs> or how would uh what would it? I, I can't get over there because I've already used all my rolls, so I can't do a an athletics check or anything like that, right? Yeah, surprise round is only uh. Half action. Okay, okay. Ah, do to do. Hold shift. Hold alt to make elliptical. 
I'm gonna draw a shape because I need to figure out radiuses. <laughs> Sadly enough, that doesn't fit. All right. All right. The one time she used a non dagger attack. <laughs> Alright, uh, sure. Alright, one second. Seeing what my AoE is. So I can center it on my own party. 20 foot radius. Crazy. That should be 20. Yep. Alright. We'll just do... Something like that. And I'll go ahead and cast a stinking cloud. DC 19 fortitude save. Um, if they fail it, they become nauseated and they will stay nauseated until they get out of the cloud, but it stays in effect for an additional 1d4 plus 1 rounds when they leave it. Nice. A second level spell back in second edition, then they realized how awesome it was. And pretty much the components is kimchi it's rotten egg and cabbage. <laughs> it would be rotten cabbage, right? Well, it says rotten egg or cabbage leaves, but I'm assuming it's all rotten. Gotcha. So you threw a jar of kimchi at them? Yeah. Or a cloud of kimchi? At <laughs> and, them? It, it, and, it, and just like kimchi, it exploded in a cloud, a 20 foot radius cloud. <laughs> oh man, you know, having been on like a fucking a hot ass like bus with a bunch of Koreans, I could understand exactly how fair. <laughs> and the cloud will last uh five rounds, so I'll keep track of that. Alright. Does it affect us if we enter it? Yes. That's why I position okay. it there. <laughs> Alright. Uh, did it, uh, does it also act as cover, or...? From what it looks like, it is... Creates a bank cloud. Uh, like that created for, by fog cloud. Except that yeah, vapors... That's what I thought. Okay. So you can't really see the effect of it since it's all foggy over there now. That's fine. Also, if they stay in there, <laughs> they will have to make the check every round. <laughs> uh. Yeah. Uh, if they make the save and remain in the cloud, they have to do it each round on their turn. Excellent. Oh, all right. Ragnar. All right. So I get one half um, move, so I can move. I just can't attack, right? Yeah. All right, so I'm gonna jump over to the other ship. Can I move to there? Yeah. Oh, yeah, dude. All right. Now for the regular round. Oh yeah, I didn't even move Spiff. I'll just put him here. <laughs> ah! Fucking script shots character sheet all fucked up. Oh shit. 
the fuck close to reopen it. Like, like I clicked on to minimize it, so I unclicked it. It was like shrunken down this itty bitty tiny box. Oh yeah. And, and when I expanded it, all the tabs stayed itty bitty tiny. <laughs> Crazy. Just outside the cloud. Yep. All right, Raziel, your turn. Okay, I'm going to uh, I'm cast Glitter Dust centered right about here. Why are you casting to, uh, on the people I'm already affecting? That way we can see them. <laughs> oh. What range attacks? <laughs> Alright, fair enough. I'll cast it on the people <laughs> here. I mean, that was, that was an interesting suggestion, but at the same time, <laughs> we don't have any ranged. <laughs> That's true. I'm going to cast it uh, here. So that it doesn't hit the uh, two party members. Okay. Go ahead and link the spell. Oh, only minus 40 penalty to stealth? That's easy. Only? <laughs> <laughs> Right. One is so blind, his eyes start bleeding. <laughs> and the other one is blind too, but eyes are not bleeding. Not not like that other dude who's like, the glitter dust got in his eyes, he is, like, tried to wipe it out, then like, hit himself in the face with his fucking metal gun. I, I, I will say that you're not helping your uh, case for your... Um... Nickname now. I'm pretty sure your incantation was Razzle Dazzle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying to win the fight. I don't have enough to, uh, I can't move and make it to the other boat, right? Uh, d -d -d you only got, yeah, you could if you make a little acrobatic thing on her. Yeah, half elf, can you do it? Oh man, I hope so. Because <laughs> <laughs> it'll be funny if you fall. Oh, you're so right, close. Yeah, you make... <laughs> You can land uh, there behind the strip shop. There you go. Yeah, one of the components of that spell should be jazz hands. <laughs> Who says it wasn't? <laughs> Sha. <laughs> Power Shazam going on there. I guess that was the wrong ac acrobatics because that's everything but jumping, huh? It's all right. You yeah, rolled a like natural twenty anyway. Just like flying through the air. It's falling with style. That could involve like swinging on a rope. All pirate shit. Yep. I, I could do the other if you want. Do you want to? Do you really want to fail, fail that bad? <laughs> no. I mean, you literally all you would do is just change the modifier. You can keep the same roll. <laughs> You're fine. Oh. Is there bonuses for hitting blind people? Uh, you lose eight. Gotcha. Which I guess is great for Syl. 
So so it'd be a plus fifteen instead of the plus nine. <laughs> and that enough that All right. So she jumps down, takes the fucking dagger swipe at him, but skids off his fucking plate. Alright. And somewhere in the cloud, you hear one dude, like, coughing and vomiting. Sweet. Did the other three make their saves, I'm guessing? Yeah. Fancy. Alright. I'm sure. That's me. Alright. Well, I will go ahead and sleep hex that guy. Uh, DC 18 will. His, uh, stretching from the cloud was, uh, more powerful than your sleep spell ability. Oh, was he nauseated already? No, I'm just oh, okay. playing up his... his, his <laughs> okay, <laughs> all right, no problem. All right, then I'm going to go ahead and move one. And Spiff will go. And one second. Can I cancel? There we go. Measure everything out. There we go. <laughs> and that's it for me. Well done. Go me. Go captain. I'm gonna attack that guy. One, the, the one by Scrimshaw or the one by the... Scrimshaw, the one that's not blinded. What? Now he has... Ah. Right, that's the bit. So I thought you expanded your threat range. I did, but I rolled a three. Oh, sorry. I was, oh, that's the total. <laughs> Good job. Good. Go team. So you stabbed this dude, but he, uh, his fits of fucking, like, Ugh, God, that was terrible. What is that smell? His sheer disgust like sword. All right, my AC is now twenty-two. I don't know why I did that. I was like, Standar will cast a spell. So I hit the spell button, forgetting that it only goes to the GM. <laughs> she's the only one that, that still does GM rolls. Right? <laughs> why did my soul? Yeah. Good times. Yeah, yeah. Fucking. All right, so Standar conjures up. Magic floating sword behind that dude to get flanking, and still sounds about right. Scrimshaw, smash! Scrimshaw, not smash. <laughs> All right, Rachel. 
this is so far no one has hit anything. Yeah, this is the, the greatest stalemate ever. They're all blind and shit. Doesn't last forever. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to uh move there and then um attack him and use shocking grasp as well. So that'll be for the concentration check. All right. It... And with 11. <laughs> yeah, you want to reroll that? Yeah, I'll reroll that one. <laughs> no, the second here? attack doesn't go off because you move more than five. Oh, that's right, I do. Oh, well, then I can't do it through, uh, or I can still do it through spell combat, I just can't, uh, can't attack twice. Yep. There you go. Alright, lucky you, that 17 barely hit. Yay. So the damage total, we're going, I'm guessing we're going off the first roll, so it's 17, 21 total, so 38. We keep the, we have the damage in the spell cap, so damage. Oh, on the spell itself? Yeah. Okay, then I'll be 43. <laughs> Dude. Yay. Damn. Well, you wanted me to hit something. <laughs> hey, we got first blood. That means we got one victory point over them. If we'll provide flanking <laughs> for this blind man. <laughs> oh, he's well. He's up on the little four deck there. Oh, right, right. Uh, okay. Okay. Now that I showed you all how to do this. <laughs> nope. <laughs> and another way. They are in half plate, unfortunately. Uh, the blinded people, I believe, get to do a, a will save again. Yeah. There you go. Looks like old Scrimshaw is going to get another upgrade. <laughs> you put him in half plates. <laughs> so we can fall in the water. So we can fall in the water and die. Yeah. Remember, they only get the will save at the end of their turn. So they still have to do their turn with blindness. <laughs> oh my god, that's so many effects on him. Five dots, one for each round. Oh, okay. <laughs> one for each what? Uh, when the, when right. you leave the cloud, it stays in effect for another 1d4 plus one rounds if you're already nauseated. Gotcha. So, yeah, he's he's not doing so well. He rolled the best roll he could. <laughs> he did the best he could. He can only do move actions now. 